Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to add modules to uh, switch using Cisco Packet Tracer. Uh, the first thing I do, I, I move here between devices, I go to switches first, and then I select, let's say, a generic switch. So a switch where all the slots are open, are empty. Uh, I pick the switch where I put it, this place, I uh, open it and I see that all slots in the switch are empty so I can even zoom in and I see that there is no particular connector I can use to connect computers or servers to it. Now um, what I'm planning to do is very simple. Uh, I plan to connect for example desktop machines, desktop, desktop computers, for example two, uh, and then I want to connect servers. I bring servers from here, this is a server all right, so I plan, for example, to configure, to uh, install two servers. I can also go for a printer, why not? Printer is here, and that's all. I can stop here, and uh, I have this number of devices, and then I decide to connect them together. But here there is a restriction that I will give to myself. I want to connect computers to a switch using a copper, using copper cable, UTP cable, for example. Uh, the printer also will be connected to a switch using UTP cable. Uh, it should support uh, 100 megabits per second or let's say fast Ethernet. That's fine for computer or desktop machines. But for servers, I need to, uh, for example, use uh, a fiber optic cable. Uh, fiber optic cable, for example, it can be uh, later on, the interface can support gigabit speed or more. Other even though we can use copper for gigabit or 10 gigabit, it's available for category 6 or 6A or 7 or 7A, that's not a problem. But uh, we, we need to use a fiber optic cable, uh, for example, to avoid electromagnetic interference and crosstalk and problems like this. So what I should do the first thing, first I just switch, open it, and, and then I need to add modules. So the modules, as you see them, they are available in the left. So if I click on the first module, I see what is this, and here you see the description. So this one is an Ethernet port. It's a single Ethernet port uh, that can connect to a LAN backbone, and uh, uh, it can also support PRI, the primary rate interface. This is uh, related to ISDN, ISDN lines, 24 synchronous, asynchronous. Uh, all right, I'm not interested by this. Uh, I'm, I will look for something else. It's a fast Ethernet uh, port that uses copper media, right? Um, I check this one. What is this? This is uh, a single port Cisco gigabit Ethernet network. So this is for UTP or, or copper cable. Uh, there is here the fiber, fiber, okay? So I can use this port here, this module to provide fast Ethernet over fiber, fiber cable. Uh, or we can go for this one that provides uh, gigabit Ethernet speed over, over fiber also. So you have fiber optic interface that supports fast Ethernet sp yeah, speed or gigabit. So which one I'm going to use? So notice one thing. I would like to use this gigabit Ethernet optical connectivity. Now, if I go for it, and I want to install this uh, interface here directly as an empty slot, observe what happens. It will not be accepted. It cannot add module when the power is on. This means that I have to turn off the switch. And in order to turn off the switch, I have to turn it off like this. Go to the power switch and turn it off. After that, I can add. So how many servers I put? I, uh, I think I put two servers, so I can add uh, two. You never know in the future, maybe you will add a third or fourth server, so it's good to um, to add more interfaces like this. You never know in the future when you uh, expand your network. That's fine. Uh, so I installed four gigabit optical fiber, optical connectors, a gigabit Ethernet optical connectors are available. Now the remaining, I can add simply, for example, instead of gigabit copper, I will use only fast Ethernet. That will do the job. It will do the job. It will be, it's, uh, it's okay. Fast Ethernet uh, interface that work on copper. That works on copper cable. Okay, that's fine. So I will add the copper 
the fast Ethernet interfaces RG45 ports, right? RG45 ports, that's fine. Now, of course, when you go here, they don't mention exactly what type of uh, of uh, optical connectors are this ST or LC or SC or whatever. Uh, you just uh, imagine that they carry optical signal. Um, or for example, it's just a JBIC that is added as an interface, a small form factor. That's fine. After that, once I am done, I turn on the switch. So the switch is turned on. It works now, normally. Uh, I load down the window. Now I start connecting my computers and printers. So I go to connections here and I select the straight cable, the copper straight throw cable, as you see. I press and control key on the keyboard and then I click on the copper straight through. And then I start connecting PC4 through its network interface card, fast Ethernet network interface card, to any available port that supports fast Ethernet, to a fast Ethernet port available on the switch. I go to PC5, I connect its network interface card to any available fast Ethernet port on the switch. And finally, I connect the uh, printer, the fast Ethernet network interface card of the printer to any available port on the on the switch right now it works after some time you will see this light here turning to green color so the orange actually this is due to stp standard training the, the spanning tree protocol which takes almost 50 seconds in order to uh, go into to allow ports to move to a forwarding state so generally it takes something like 50 seconds now after i'm done uh, i need to connect the servers now to the switch but we agree that we're going to connect the servers using a uh, fiber optic cable at gigabit speed. Uh, now, what we should do, let's go to the servers. Let me first erase this, remove this, okay? Now, I double click on the server. What kind of, uh, of server is this? You see, we have this uh, network interface card with, with the RJ45 connectors. So definitely here, the server is by default meant to use a copper cable or twisted pair cable. Now, in our case, what we need, we need to add a connector. Um, we need to add fiber optic connectors. Here it is. So this is, uh, it supports gigabit Ethernet speed over optical cable, right? So this is the right one. Uh, well, we have two choices here because now with the packet tracer, the packet tracer I'm using here is packet tracer version uh, six. Now with this version of packet tracer, uh, you notice that servers, uh, they support two different network interface card uh, so they can be multi home and servers so either I can do one thing either I can remove this network interface card and add this one that supports the uh, optical connectors or I can add simply add the optical uh, connector to the empty slots here where I can add the second network interface card well I will go for the first solution now I just turn off the uh, server I turn it off throw away this uh this network interface card right now and i bring this one i put it here right uh, i do the same thing with the uh, second server uh, i turn it i turn it on i turn it off first throw away this network interface card just by bringing it uh, i bring it in the module section and then i select the um the optical connector, the network interface card that supports optical connector for gigabit speed, and I put it in the empty slots now. I turn on the, the server. I think it's fine. Now the next step, I go to connections. I choose the uh, connector, the optical connector. Where is it? It's an orange color. I click, well, I press and control key on the keyboard. I click on it. And then I go to the server, here it says gigabit, it says gigabit Ethernet 0. I bring it to the switch and then I choose gigabit Ethernet 0 1. Uh, I do the same thing with server 1. Gigabit Ethernet 0, I bring it to the switch, bring connection to the switch and connect it to the second uh, Ethernet port. Gigabit Ethernet port, which is of, of course, uh, which supports optical connectivity. After a few seconds, you will see the light here will turn to green. As I said, it's due to, to spanning tree protocol. Now, this is what you can do actually in order to, to have a network with a mixture of media, uh, copper, fiber optic, and later on we'll see the uh, wireless uh, connector. 
Uh, maybe you can check some of my video before and the video they contain the description of the describe connecting connection using wireless uh, medium. Thanks for viewing this uh, video. This is Hakim Adish.